In this video, I'm going to explain how to conditionally format uh, one column based on a value in another column. So in this case, I'm formatting the value of column number B, which is languages. And here I am for I'm highlighting the language uh, which is uh, in which student expertise is, let's say, excellent. Um, so uh, for C++, it is excellent. Uh, so it's highlighted in both places. For JavaScript, it's excellent, so it's highlighted in both places. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and it's a little bit tricky. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, to start with, I will just go ahead and delete the current rule, and uh, we'll do this from scratch. Uh, so to start with, we want to select uh, cell B4. This is going to be the active cell, which is going to be used in the formula. Uh, and let's highlight this part where, uh, because I want to highlight this column B, uh, the first column, uh, based on the value in column number D. So go to conditional formatting, select new rule, uh, use formula, and in here, let's go with equal sign, then select this cell, which is D4, and then equal, and then we want to type in the value excellent. Uh, and don't forget the formatting part. So let's do the formatting. Uh, and in here, uh, uh, we got our uh, whole column B actually selected. So you see that it's obviously wrong uh, because it's excellent here, which is you know true for this particular value, but it's not excellent here. So what is actually wrong here? Um, so let's get this uh, correct first of all. So go back to the rule. Uh, and uh, in here, you see that when we selected this particular column, and uh, so it picked these values automatically, which is $D, $4. So whenever Excel uses dollar sign in, in front of a column, which is column number D, or instead of a row, which is uh, row number four, it actually locks that particular reference. So it is not being changed in the formula. Uh, this will always be fixed. Uh, so even though in this case, we want to use the formula for the entire, for all the rows, but it's going to lock this rule to this particular column, which is always excellent. So it's true for the whole, um, for all the rows here. Uh, so to fix this, we have to remove the dollar sign. So. Uh, and you have to click use uh, the mouse here because if you use arrow keys, it will actually point to uh, to the cell. So make sure that you use uh, mouse here. And now apply. And now you see that after removing the dollar signs, we could actually uh, highlight the cells properly. Uh, now to take it a little bit further, let's say we want to highlight uh, this particular value as well as this particular value where it's excellent. Uh, so uh, bring your cursor into the rule section where the rules are applied. Click Manage Rule. It will uh, select the existing rule that are, that are being used. Uh, and then select this to the whole table. Uh, or in this case, we want to only highlight uh, the two columns. So when you are selected the first column, hit Control and then select the second column. You have to select control to uh, select multiple sections and then click this particular icon and then apply. And you see that it is not, it has not highlighted this part. So that, that's another quirk that we have to fix. Um, and this also has to do with the dollar sign, uh, strangely. Um, and uh, to fix that, you will have to come back to the formula again and in this case, we want to put dollar sign in front of the D, which is the column. So we really want to lock the column, which is column number D. Although when you move uh, down uh, from row to row, this column D is always you know, the same. Uh, but for some reason, you have to lock it to, uh, and it must be preceded uh, by the dollar sign. And then when you click apply, you will see that all your rows are uh, correctly highlighted. Uh, so that's a 
you know, a little quirk in Excel, how you get this done. And I kind of get stumbled upon this all the time. Uh, so that's why I'm creating this video. Uh, so let's just take it another step. Uh, and uh, let's say we want to highlight the whole row instead of uh, just these two columns. So go back to the rules. Uh, and in here, uh, now you see that these two columns are being highlighted, but we want to just select the entire table and click this icon, click apply, and that should highlight the whole, um, all the rows. Uh, so really uh, the trick is to use uh, one uh, dollar sign in front of the, the, the column, uh, which is uh, column number D here, and then four can stay as it is because it needs to be, it, it should be changing uh, in the formula from row to row. So it will be, you know, uh, D4, D5, D6, and uh, we'll go down this way. So to highlight the entire row, you have to kind of manually adjust this formula. So uh, that's just a little trick that you have to know. And uh, uh, hopefully you like this video. Uh, thank you.